He's wanted for several violent crimes, including murder. News Channel 5's Mo Hyder is in live drive this morning in that search area. Uh, what is going to happen, Mo, once they apprehend Wallace? Yeah, Adam, with the sun out now, many crews are already getting out to the scene uh, so far. Again, like we mentioned earlier, there's dozens of agencies that are working together in this search process. And to answer your question, that's what's, a lot on, that's what's on a lot of people's mind. What's going to happen when they actually apprehend Wallace? Again, you can remember, he can also surrender. They don't necessarily have to apprehend him before that. So they most likely will have to take him to the hospital first, and he should be medically cleared before he does get booked into jail. Now, keep in mind, He's been out in wooded areas for quite some time, like we've been showing you in Montgomery County. So there's really no telling what kind of condition he's in, if he has any injuries, if he has any access. We don't know so far. And again, he's wanted for multiple crimes, keep in mind, including a break in Stewart County that happened in on September 23rd, where he was accused of tying up a couple and stabbing them both and setting their house on fire. In that case, the woman did die. A few days later, on the 27th, he was accused in another kidnapping and burglary. And earlier this week, October 1st, authorities say he's connected to a carjacking and murder that happened near Poplar Springs Road, where many of the crews are set up today. That's where he was also last seen in that area as well. Remember, authorities think he might have stolen some weapons from one of these scenes. That's why people are on high alert. Again, he is considered armed and dangerous. We'll send it back over to you guys in the studio.